Okay, so bring in some more Crocodile 3D. Just got to notify some places. I'm streaming. Right? Okay, so... In this uh, video or this stream or whatever, we're going to focus on this piece of artwork that I got off of pixel joint right here by Veer, Veerbit. I think that's how you say it. And he also has a Twitter account right here. You can follow him if you want at Veerbit. Check his art out. Be good artist so let's get started basically I'm just going to explore the tiles chose this piece because everything's from the side and also it uses tile size of 16 by 16 pixels so that'll make it easier for me to kind of convert this into 3d because everything's already kind of con contained in in these tiles as you can see as I'm selecting the tiles all the details kind of fit within 16 by 16 so grid okay So I guess what I'll start with first, I guess I need to um, I need to like create a bit more space. I guess I could resize it. Now I will, so I'll just select everything and go into the painting tab. And I, I just fill that in with that color now. So I want to start off with like, platform I guess that'd be a good place to uh, begin constructing things so I mean I could just start placing tiles and see how they look in 3d and then figure out later like what other tiles I need to create but this towel sheet wasn't designed for like 3D, so I'm not sure exactly how well it'll work if I just use it like that. I might have to like convert some things or modify stuff to get things looking how I want it to look. And it doesn't have like a top view to it, so I need to create those tiles. Maybe I'll do that. maybe select this area. And then I will make sure I have the pencil tool selected. And maybe just eye drop color. And maybe uh Switch to the marquee tool and I'll fill that in just with base color. And I'll deselect that, switch back to the pencil tool, and maybe use another color. 
I just want to get like the tile place on the tile sheet so I know so that I can actually use it in the scene basically. I don't have to get all refined with it. Right now I could find the details later if I want. Now I have some tiles that I can place top of there that and actually maybe I'll use that one there that one there that one back there What I want to do is kind of modify it while I'm looking at the 3D. And that way I could uh, make the details kind of align better with those other tiles. So maybe I could just kind of copy these down so that it's a little easier. I have everything on like one monitor, so it's. I have like all my windows uh, squished together. I need to get like another monitor so this. so I can maximize everything. Make it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna eye drop that. And maybe pixel something like there. I could look over here, see. and see how those details are showing up, and then I could kind of. maybe draw some. grass or leaves or whatever it is foliage plant material organic substance whatever whatever you want to call it <laughs> bit of life some life uh, growing off that piece of dirt or whatever so I don't know if I like that uh, dark pixel line right there. So maybe I could just mm, just kind of replace those tiles and use these down here, replacing them. That way, when I when I draw it, when I pixel the details. Okay, so you can see over there being modified. Now I just gotta make alterations to this tile set that was created so that it works a little better with how the 3D geometry fits together. I could have just put these tiles right up next to each other, couldn't I? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do that. Should work. I could. Ju I could just. Uh, there's a way to do it. I could just right click and drag. This yes, right click, drag, drag, right click, drag. That basically moves it, and it automatically adjusts the UVs for those tiles. That's simple. If you want to like re rearrange stuff. But it only works, uh, how does it work? I think how, it might just work on like square tiles. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So if you like adjust the UVs, um, in the UV map, if you were going to like drag them around, that sort of thing, I don't think it would swap the tile when you move it not square anymore think think anyways <laughs> so we have a bit of edge going on there you can also like modify a little bit so like 
has some shape to it, I guess. I don't know. Do that sort of thing. Maybe flip that edge around like that. Get more rounded. Maybe that one as well. Can't really see what's going on because it's just one flat, um, one flat color. We can add more detail to it, I guess. Called dithering, I guess. What the pencil artist call it? This artist has a lot of dithering details. I like, kind of like imitate that. I could hold shift and draw a line. Be easy, easier. Okay, so. See what else do we do we add? As you can see it's kind of looking a little bit more interesting. Add some detail on top of the style. Just kind of doing it kind of quick. Good enough to me. Seems kind of cool. All right, so let's try and figure out what we're going to add next. Okay, I have an idea. I'll just... Okay. We're going to add more of this um, stonework. What I'm going to do... Is I'm going to I'm going to take off the uh, plant material. Let's see, is that? Yeah, I guess that's it. Now I'll just click and drag that, and I'll move this. Move this. Just cut it. And then I will base color. I'll fill that in. And a bit more space here. I can, whoops, do that. Paste that. Uh, Oh no. Move this over. I guess I'll just put it there for now. And then what I'll do is I'll just create some extra detail stuff in here. 
in these tiles to kind of um, reimagine what's behind or what was behind the plant stuff. So I'll just try and do that really quick. So I also want it to kind of get a little bit more darker towards these bottom tiles just so they have some variability to work with. I also put like a <clears throat> a noise gate thing on my audio experimenting with that so that might help reduce the noise when I'm not talking because you know I'm new to this streaming stuff Hopefully the audio sounds all right. I got to remember to like speak into the microphone. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for those tiles. I just wanted a, like a bit more darker variation compared to the other ones because these will kind of be like in the back or behind stuff. And then we could like put um, other stuff in front of it. Like these plants and things, use that. It's a little bit on here to move some of this power stuff. Move that there. All right. So now, oh, we could, I guess we could remove R there. That looks all right. All right, so now let's try and use some of these tiles. Just kind of placing them all next to each other and then I can uh, like shape it. Kind of simple, simple layout here. 
maybe take those select vertices and something Yeah, looks all right. that looks all right, I guess. Use some of these tiles down. Maybe. Or I could actually maybe have a better idea. That that and that tiles up here and uh, I'll just those myself. So maybe I'll just select these and choose the darkest color as a base. Actually, is that the darkest color? Kind of doing it quick just so that I get some ideas how things look generally in a general sense. <laughs> Maybe add impression of some rocks or something like that. I guess uh, the stream, I kind of showing you how to do a little bit of pixel work while you create your 3D scene. It's not just all 3D. You're creating 3D. A lot of it is just 2D work too, you know. Textures and colors and things like that. It's not just Ge geometric uh, structure of stuff. A lot of it is the uh, two dimension as well wrapped around it. So you kind of get a look into how that works. Kind of trying to decide how these details should look. And I can look over here in the 3D view and see how it, how it kind of shaping up. Maybe something like that. A little bit of dither just to kind of replicate the already existing aesthetic. You know, there's like uh, this kind of, what do you call it? Unity or harmony or balance or whatever goes on when you have certain details that repeat. Repetitious uh, thing. It just makes your mind feel like it's supposed to be like that. 
when you have something that occurs over and over again, it like reinforces or reemphasizes or or makes you believe that it's supposed to be that way. Because it was like that in the past, you know? Stuff repeating over and over again, like life, basically. So yeah, when you're when you're creating art, that's kind of what you're doing with like your style as well. That's what a style is basically. It's like something that repeats. It's like something that that you've created that's become like a habit. You don't know how to stop it. Basically, it's just it's just happening. You're not even aware of it. Basically, most people aren't. Anyways. Like I'm just pixeling and going through the motions right now because I've done this so many times. Getting dither or switching between dark and light. Feeling that dynamic, the changes that occur when you or that sort of thing. In a way it's like it doesn't really matter like where I'm placing things because all the other stuff is already there kind of helping it make sense you know you look at one like one portion of it, it probably doesn't make sense at all but because you have like this whole array of details and things it kind of makes your mind feel like oh that must be what is trying to be conveyed there kind of dirt based on the the color and the Maybe the specific details like the dithering makes it a little bit more gritty. If there wasn't that dither there, it'd be softer, flat, maybe smoother. So you'd probably think it something else, like something more slick or whatever. Yeah, the dither there and it's like it breaks up the space and makes it feel more bumpy basically. Yeah, I'm starting to get all deep, I guess. I don't know. So, that's a good way of passing the time <laughs> while I saw all these little squares. Okay, so I guess that looks good. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. So after that, you could just kind of mm, go into edit mode and maybe select some vertices and like move them around or something. I don't know. Kind of depends like how you want to plan things out. If you have a plan. This is just kind of a demonstration of like what what you can do basically. Uh, yeah. So I guess that looks good. Kind of side view, of, and the cliff kind of goes down and meets the ground basically. And um, we could add some of those plants maybe. Where are those plants? There. I guess I could select them like that. Let me zoom in and. See, should I place it? Maybe I could use that one instead. It's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Obviously, some stuff should go behind it as you continue building. I could probably just select these and. Yeah, I guess I could. 
turn it side. Then I could like mirror that maybe. It's kind of cool, I guess. Now again, kind of a bit more shaped things, like mirror stuff. Try different tiles to see what fits, what doesn't fit. Mm, it's all right. Well, maybe if I that's the same tile. The other one. kind of works I always change it later if I need to maybe I should use actually I could go higher Maybe around that way, something like that. Then we could use one of these tiles up here. Or we could create another tile. Maybe I'll place that there and where was it? I think it was this one. And I want to see where does it look? I have it flipped around. So that and then I could just go in and start editing it, pixeling it. That's kind of cool. It's looking pretty good. Add some of that uh, dither stuff. Try to zoom in so it's a little easier. <laughs> Looks all right, I guess. There's that little dark spot in the corner of it, but you know, I guess I could do that if I want. We got some more shaped things, maybe. maybe I should make this side darker like that. Maybe that was it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I could uh, 
could modify. Create another another tile. It to there. I'll just copy that. Work with paste it over there, and then I'll start uh, shaping it. Let's try that, see how it works. I guess that's I guess that's all right. Actually, maybe I'll side a bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. So now, now what? Add that there for now. Um, hmm. Do I use this tile anywhere? I don't think I use this tile. I'll just create another tile basically. Copy this over here. Be like a corner tile, basically, just kind of transition between those cliff tiles and the surface. Probably good enough. Yeah, you know, just simple, <laughs> rough. It's not not as hard as you think it is. Unless you overthink it, basically. That looks all right. Just kind of a little darkens the edge there, so it doesn't. So the uh, transition isn't as uh, abrupt. You know, it's, you go towards the edge and starts getting dark, and then it 
makes your mind think that something's changing because the value is changing as your eye crosses over those pixels or as the light bounces into your eye and moves across those rods and cones the change in value causes your mind to think something's happening as things move around in space it stimulates those rods and cones and causes like a, a reaction in your mind that sort of thing that's why if you see things in the corner of your eye it's because those rods and cones are being stimulated and they're kind of sensitive to that causing you to look over to the side and see what's going on because you don't want to get hit by something right you know subconsciously you want to know what's happening around you so they don't fall or into things or bump into things or collide with stuff that'd be bad right maybe maybe not depends what you're doing I guess your state of mind is distracted maybe you won't notice those things think about other stuff exactly what I'm doing right now thinking about all that weird stuff while well, I'm trying to develop a 3d scene what's going on anyways and uh, figure out what to do next I guess so I guess I'll try and put in this tree kind of growing off of this cliff basically I want it right here behind these three tiles to the left of this thing jutting out how am I gonna do that question alrighty I should probably save it. Saved. Okay. We have all these tiles for dis different pieces and that sort of thing. Question is which ones to use, which ones to get rid of, which pieces to modify, which ones to change, which ones to add, which ones aren't there, need to be added. This is all just from one side. I guess we could just start placing some of these. Why not? Actually, no. I'm going to <laughs> go into painting and it. I want to copy these tiles. Which ones? Start at the bottom, huh? Start with all this stuff. I'll just copy that and paste it. And then I will zoom out. Maybe I'll put it right there. That seems fair. Okay, now, um, hmm. might be good if I remove the plants from the trunk kind of make them their own tiles and then I could kind of use those to kind of overlay it and kind of give it a little depth make the plants kind of pop out a bit in 3d so they're not just plastered to the tree basically it might be interesting from a structural geometric geometry standpoint I guess <laughs> it's already interesting from like a 2D aspect of it. We're just looking at it, and so it has all these different um, texture and composition going on, and color and that sort of thing. I guess what I'll do select that with the marquee tool. And switch to magic wand, and then I'll hold Alt, and I will select, turn this contiguous option on, or whatever. Select all of these colors. Deselect all those colors. Now all the plant stuff should be selected. 
I can just hold control and drag that off. What's going on here? Hold control and drag that off. Oh, wait a second. That didn't work. I accidentally des deselected it. Let's try that again. Those colors. Now drag that off. I will place this. I'll place it below it. Place it right there. And I guess I could just remove the other color. Shift and Alt like that. Flip that out. Move that. There's also that green color in the background. I'm not gonna do. I'm not sure. Can't do the same thing because that would select all the other greens. So I'm gonna have to erase that manually. But we won't worry about that right now. All I'm going to fill in some of this tiles with a base color, maybe that color. Yeah, I guess that color will work. Maybe I'll select these other tiles as well. Those. And then these other tiles can be kind of like the roots or like just bits that could kind of go out from the tree on their own, basically. I don't know how this is gonna look, but figure that out. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna zoom out a bit, and I'm gonna grab some of the other tiles just so that I could get an idea as to the style of it, of the tree while I'm working on it. I'm gonna paste that down. I'm gonna drag it over there. I'm just gonna fit it right there. So now, let's see. I have like a reference for the type of texture and details that I'm gonna recreate on this on the bottom of it. I'm gonna save it. Uh now saved. So now oh, what happened there? There we go. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna continue this texture down, and this is basically the base of the tree. So we have a bunch of stuff that was hidden behind those plants. So I'm kind of just I'm kind of just reimagining what's there. And maybe I'll keep it kind of dark towards the bottom so it kind of mm, disappears behind stuff. We're going to try and put plants in front of it. That's my idea anyways. And so like part of this stuff's just going to be like hidden behind plants. And so it doesn't need to be too Too detailed or or perfect or anything because a lot of this probably is going to get covered up. We just need to create create it so that uh, has something to work with basically. Maybe I could place it in the scene first and shape it and then pixel it. Because that might. Uh, Help me visualize stuff if it's in the scene already. So I will my 3D crosshair there and then choose one of these tiles. Which way? I guess I can make it kind of like that. Mm, really. I want to move these over since it's 
about well, how wide is it? Five tiles. Okay. Um, put that one over there, and then we're gonna raise those up. We do that. Let's place these other ones that are connected. And we can figure out how to connect the sides at some point. So we can just kind of select these vertices and neighboring stuff. We can kind of move that up a bit. Move it up like that. It'll be a little stretch, but that's okay. See, we could select those, move it out a bit. Even move the sides back. That should be good enough for now, just to kind of get an idea. It's like the shape of stuff. So as you can see, the scene's kind of coming together a bit. You can get an idea as to like how stuff, looking in the 3D scene, you get like, Cliffs and the tree on top of there, and as you build as you build it out more, it's just a process that develops over time as you're building things. It's a little bit rough in the beginning, and things become more crystallized and uh, formulates itself like uh, anything in life. Plants formulating structure way that it grows out of the ground and things like that yeah anyways <laughs> my mind easily goes on ta tangent tangent trying to keep things interesting okay so what am i doing here i gotta f i gotta draw this tree trunk And we're going to have plants in front of it as well. So, so yeah, now I'm back into the automated little mindset square after square after square getting the details that have already been repeated before replicating replicating over and over again mindless work <laughs> kind of filling stuff in feeling out where things should go composition this detail is too close to that detail needs more space over there that shape doesn't align with that other shape I want it to align I don't want that to align There's not enough dither in here not enough dark stuff over here let's put some dark stuff there why because I don't know thinking too much I guess I guess the shape uh, goes recedes there, and then this shape pops out for some reason. So if I wanted to spend time, I could analyze all that, figure out what the tree should be doing, what it should be conveying, or how it should be growing. I don't have time for that. Just demonstration. Yeah, that's a root there. I made it curved because it's a root. And roots are kind of wire, wirely. That's not a word, is it? And roots are kind of uh, stringy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> root of the tree. 
Okay, so it actually looks kind of weird. I'm going to erase that. It's too, too vertical. It jumps out too much. Don't want that type of attention to that location. So you gotta, you gotta think about composition. What attracts attention? What doesn't? You want certain things to make sense, I guess. You don't want stuff competing or, or what's the word? Causing conflicts. In the context of everything, I guess. Because it's all kind of working together, you know, all the details are working together to make you believe something's there, right? You add something that doesn't make sense, then mine's like, wait a second, something weird's happening there. You gotta investigate what's going on. Details don't align for some reason. So, like making these kind of curved and fork here, kind of like it's like this root system branching out, gives context to the rest of the details. Kind of like your mind like fills in the gaps, basically. All the little tricks. Artists employ. Make stuff interesting. And then you can kind of tell based on what an artist does, their skill level, I guess. You'd be like, why did they draw it that way? Doesn't make sense. Kind of alter that a little bit because that kind of looks odd. This part, this this area right here is kind of causing too much attention, so I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Okay, so eh, I guess that's all right. I don't know. I'm just kind of experimenting a little bit. Finish up some of this other stuff later. Rough it in a little bit. I guess the bottom's supposed to be kind of darker. Some dark tones there, just kind of make it kind of disappear into the darkness shadow than the tree. Side over here, I guess, could be maybe much darker since the light appears to be going coming from the left. Yeah, I guess that'll work a bit. Looks good. I think the stream's turning out well, even though not too many people are watching. I'll be able to upload it later and have all this good content. People could watch over and over again. So we do that. So that's, I guess that'll work. That's good for now. Maybe I'll create some tiles for the side. Maybe. Just give it a little bit more depth. So uh, let's see. I guess I will add them right there. Just fill in it with that color. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of imitate, shape, replicate the pattern. 
not too much. Got to trans transition it towards um, the darkness, the lack of detail. You see less detail in the dark because your eyes get less light, and so that uh, makes it more difficult to discern uh, stuff. <laughs> Looks good to me. Not too much detail you need there because transitioning towards uh, the sh shaded. As far as the other side goes, let's see what we can do here. I have it that. And I could, I could lighten this edge here just so that it's well with these other tiles. I mean, why not? I have to stay like that. I don't want it like that. I could change it. And then I'll just repeat pattern, replicate the design. Because that's what the mind expects to see. Kind of transition it towards less uh, light, more dark. Seems good. Change stuff later if we need to. We put some dark stuff here just to show that it's getting a bit darker. Maybe put some more dark stuff. Pixels, dark, dark pixels. Dark uh, bark. <laughs> Some of these other colors in there. I'm doing it a little bit rough. Gotta, I'm, I'm kind of gauging how much of each color to put in based on what's already been drawn. Because there's like not, not as much of that color there right here. Versus right here, actually more over here than right here. So to create that transition, I gotta make it progressively less than what's on the right. From like a percentage of the whole space, right? Basically, something like that. And some some pixel art technique information although I don't think pixel artists talk about that sort of stuff they're all concerned about the pixel and they're not concerned about the bigger picture you look at all the pixel art tutorials out there there's repeating the same stuff and the same stuff. Regurgitating the same information. Yeah. Well, all all education materials basically does that sort of thing. If it's like a type of system, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. Probably wrong, I guess. I don't know too much enough, too much about. It. it just seems like a lot of pixel tutorials say the same stuff because you have people learning it, and then those people learning it say what they've learnt as a way of showing that they've learnt it. Because, like, uh, you think about schools and that sort of thing, like, if you're learning stuff, they have to ask you if you know what you've learned. 
And so it kind of creates this behavior in the student where they're expected to imitate and repeat what's being said kind of what's the word uh, it's this weird situation where you're kind of breeding more of yourself basically They don't even know that they're doing it. I just think it's supposed to be done because it's been done in the past. The way stuff is, right? You gotta accept it. No reason to do it any differently. Or is there? Is there? Anyways. These are the things I think about when I'm talking to myself. Nobody's asking me any questions while I'm streaming. Okay, so we have those tiles. Now let's put them into the scene. Why not? It's supposed to be in the scene, right? It's supposed to be 3D. That's what we're doing. That's the whole point, right? Is that the point? I guess it's the point. Maybe there's some deeper point to all of this. Something beyond the 3D, beyond the 2D, going beyond the 1D, into the 0D, whatever that is. Something that exists everywhere. So we added those tiles and, oops, what's going on? Okay. I need to be careful like things I say because a lot of people be like, what the hell are you, t what, what are you saying, man? I don't want to hear that. I just want to know 3D stuff. So I got to focus on what I'm doing. More people were watching. Never mind, I'll just focus on the tree. I'm trying to make it round right now. A little rounder. It's kind of a big tree if you, if you look at it. It's kind of big, like compared to what we've done already. It takes up a lot of the space, percentage of the space. It's like almost as big as the cliff, right? It looks pretty good though. I mean, it's round. It looks round. Rounder, anyways. And uh, yeah, we could add some more stuff over here to the side I just mm, I do I'm trying to think could add I guess I'll just quickly add some more um, I need to add more base tiles to the tree on the sides I guess I'll just do that Yeah. Okay. So we'll go back into the paint mode. And I'll just use these tiles. Zoom in. And I'll just do this really quick. I'll just draw that. I just want some placeholder art so that I can place it in the scene really quick. Because if I keep pixeling, the pixeling part is very monotonous. And so my mind starts wandering. I'm just going to quickly draw that like that. I have that darkness over there. Sometimes it's good to just like really quickly draw stuff. Cause then you like you end up drawing like something that looks really good 
Whereas if you overthink it too much, it just gets too busy and it's like, oh, why'd I draw that? So I will drag that over there, hold shift to drag it. And then for these, I'll just, I'll just select those and move it out there. Look at that, that's cool. I could maybe mm, move it out a bit like that. Just kind of give it a little bit more round roundness to it. And that's cool. It kind of like doesn't go, it doesn't connect well with the, the side of it. So I could fix that. I could just like go back in to the paint mode and then, you know, draw that a little bit better kind of do there some of it blend it make some details kind of align with the other details so kind of push up a little bit better like that looks kind of good it looks a little like, like it it uh transitions between those tiles a little bit better right sure now we could do do um, this other side as well. A bit of boots there. So let's select these back into paint mode. Maybe select this stuff here. Let's do that. And then let's see. I'll just quickly draw like some kind of root there and then maybe some root that goes up there. Not too much because it's in like this dark area, so we don't want too much detail going on there. So yeah, maybe something like that. What's going on here? Some sort of weirdness. Let's try that. Go back into tile set, select that tile, and then kind of zoom in over here and maybe move the crosshair there and then boom, put that there, there. We drag that over there, attach that, select this, select that, move it over there. There we go. Now we can select that. Maybe do that, move, maybe move this like there. Yeah, now we got that side. got this tree kind of growing up there now what I want to do is I kind of want to put these plants in front of this tree in some little interesting ways maybe so I'm thinking maybe I need to like split some of the the sections of the plant up into their own tiles that way it's a, li a little easier to select them uh, so I guess I guess I could start doing that I'll need some space to separate everything, so maybe I'll just select uh, this area right here. And then I'll go into the Paint tab and start moving things around. I have the Lasso tool right here, so I could just kind of um, select different portions. I could, could select, hmm, select this part right here that and maybe just move this down where should I move it here maybe and I could move maybe I should focus on the bigger pieces first select this move that uh, maybe right there And select this whole thing. Move this. Mm. Guess I'll put it there. Select this part. Move this right there. It'll use two tiles. Then I will <clears throat> I want this purple 
plant thing on its own. That out, and I'll put that. I'll put it right there. Take these plants. Pull that down. So I'll put it there. Mm. Put it right there. Split it between two tiles. Leave that big shape there, and I will cut this out. Put this mm, maybe right there. I'll move this slightly to the side. Oops. Flower thing, I'll put it in its own towel. Okay, so I think I have everything positioned where I want it to. I'll just save that really quick. Now I will, what will I do? I will first, First, I want to select everything. Change to the wand tool, hold shift and alt. I could just do, I could just select all of that. That, that. So now, let me get my stylus and I'll just Use the eraser tool. I'll just kind of erase around some of the stuff. This is going to end up looking really good. I just know it. Feel it. So. I. Maybe remove those purple ones and put them into their own spot. I can do that. Yeah. I'm kind of just kind of reimagining some of this stuff. Make it look more like it's supposed to be like that on its own. Before it was just composed with everything else kind of flattened down. Now they're their own little entities, their own little pieces, and I need to make sure that they look like they're supposed to be like that. Maybe I'll clean up some of the edges. I just kind of cut them out really quickly without too much thought. Seems all right like that, I guess. Could just Mm, just start placing stuff into the scene and then see how it looks and then clean things up afterwards.
Okay, so we have that. Maybe I want to move these over slightly so they're not too, so close to the edge, and then I can just add a pixel there. Just to make it a little bit mm, nicer. No, it's all right, I guess. I'll lighten that side a bit. Okay. Almost there. And people think that art's easy. Well, art is not easy, let me tell you that. Art is very demanding. It's very, takes a lot out of your mind because you gotta focus on the details. And it's kind of like, yeah, imagine having to like just stare at something for the entire day and you're not allowed to look away and you just got to stare at it. Imagine doing that all day. It's not easy. And on top of that, you have to think about a lot of stuff like how things correlate with other things like how the the relativity between one shape and another shape so it's not all about actually doing stuff it's about like figuring out what the best way is to do something and then and then do it or try and do it and then fix it if it doesn't work out so there's a lot of like um, this uh repeating or redoing stuff especially if you're like working for someone else uh freelance they have expectations as how things they want how they want things to be and might have to redo stuff make changes fix things based on feedback and that sort of stuff And sometimes those people don't even know what they want, right? So at the same time, they're trying to figure out what they want, and you're trying to give them what they want. Same thing that I'm kind of doing right now. I'm trying to figure out what the viewers want, what the users of Crocodile 3D want to see. Kind of gauge the reaction sort of thing. Not everybody says anything. You gotta base it on captures the attention, viewership, and the ratings and that sort of stuff. Because people don't always say stuff. Well, if they do say stuff, then that's good. Then you're like, oh, something's working. So I think that looks, I think that's looking pretty good. All right, anyways, I guess that's enough pixeling of those things. I kind of just quickly did it. Oh, I kind of overlooked that part, but that's okay. So that looks good, right? Oh no, what happened? There we go. That's weird. 
Must be some kind of bug or something. I don't know. That was weird. Why did it do that? Did you see that? They were like missing parts. Anyways. So now I will place some of these things into the scene. Just click and drag that. Look at that. I can place that there. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Pretty cool. Maybe put this root thing somewhere. I could like stretch it out too if I wanted to. Well, what happened? Oh, I flipped it. looking
Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I should have used. I could just. What I can do, I could just. This one. And apply that there. Is it rotated? There. I don't have to. Just. Is it this one? Maybe it's that. That's kind of cool. Kind of experimenting a little bit. I need to create some different tiles. In this case. So I can maybe do that and maybe I should put this tile somewhere else. Actually, I can do that. I can just. Drag that, put it over on. Put 
and then um, So, rotate it. You rotate. Looks better. <laughs> Looking pretty cool. Need a bit of variation so that I can work with stuff in different ways. Try that. There.
Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks all right. Want to use these plants down here? Did over there. Some of that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I could like spit it up a little bit. That way I can kind of shape things. Make things a little bit more interesting. Go a little bit more depth to it. Oh, I like that. It's cool. I'm just kind of getting more of the same stuff, some sort of structures.
create other tiles get variation and that thing here. So I guess it needs to be down. Actually, maybe I will point that. Okay, I can see it while I'm editing it. Have to end the stream soon. Okay, that should work. Maybe I'll modify it. Oh, a little bit weird right here on this edge. Whatever. Okay, so pretty cool. Some stuff going on. Plants in front of the cliff and sort of thing. We could obviously make other tiles to make stuff fit together, transition better. But I only have so much time and I have to stop the stream now and do other stuff. Okay, so yeah, I'll upload this onto the YouTube channel, Crocodile 3D YouTube channel. Check out Crocodile 3D, you can download it, try it out. That sort of thing. If you have any questions or suggestions and anything like that, leave a comment, I'll get back to you. Yeah, that's all.